ago, Ruger introduced their Wrangler 22 six gun and that really set the six gun world on its ear. What they did with the Wrangler was they introduced a really nice, high quality, low cost 22 six gun. They're wonderful little six guns. Since then, they have, uh, you know, they're available in several different colors. They've also come out with a bird's head model, which is my favorite version of the Wrangler. And then they come out with a sheriff's model. They've come out with a long barrel model, different ones. And every time they bring out a new Wrangler from the first one until now, there's a whole bunch of folks that say, yeah, if they'd make those with adjustable sights and a 22 Magnum cylinder, I'd buy one. Well, it's time for you guys to put up or shut up because right now Ruger has introduced the Super Wrangler. The Super Wrangler is just that. It is a Wrangler 22 long rifle with an extra 22 Magnum cylinder and it also has a set of Ruger's famous adjustable sights on it. The Wrangler is constructed with an aluminum alloy cylinder frame, a steel cylinder, steel barrel, steel hammer and trigger and internal parts, and a zinc grip frame. The Super Wrangler has a steel cylinder frame to better handle the higher pressures of the 22 Magnum. And of course, it's still got the steel cylinder and barrel and all that. These are really strong. They're going to be naturally compared to the Ruger Single 6, which is a wonderful six gun that's been around longer than I have. It's one of the most famous six guns ever produced. It was Ruger's first revolver. It's just so much history behind the things. They're so wonderful. Ruger is still cataloging those. The Super Wrangler, a lot of people think, will sound the death knell for the single six. I don't believe that to be true because the single six still has a lot of refinements that are lacking on the Wrangler. So right away, let's get to the main differences between the Super Wrangler and the Wrangler. Obviously, as I've already said, the Super Wrangler has adjustable sights on it and they're Ruger's famous, standard, very familiar adjustable sights. They are easy to pick up in most lighting conditions. The front sight is a serrated ramp that the base is screwed to the barrel. The rear sight is Ruger's familiar, fully adjustable for windage and elevation. Just a wonderful set of sights on these. The other major difference between the Wrangler and the Super Wrangler is that the Super Wrangler comes with a spare cylinder in 22 Magnum. 22 Magnum opens up a whole new world of rimfire possibilities in a 22 six gun. 22 Magnum is way more powerful than the 22 long rifle. They're capable of taking medium sized game. 22 Magnum is wonderful for predator hunting if you need to roll some coyotes or if you need to take care of some feral hogs or armadillo infestations or whatever kind of thing you have. The 22 Magnum is wonderful for that. The 22 long rifle, if I had to pick a cartridge, God forbid, it would probably be the 22 long rifle because you can pretty much do anything you need to do with a 22 long rifle. They're fun, they're accurate, and they're relatively cheap to shoot. But with the Magnum cylinder on the Super Wrangler, you have that option of stepping up to the next level of rimfire power with the 22 Magnum. Like the Wrangler, the Super Wrangler is finished in a Cerakote. There are different color options available as they are on the Wrangler. The Cerakote makes kind of a dull, nice looking finish, not real fancy. The cylinders are very nice looking. They're unfluted, they're blued steel, and they really have a nice quality look to them. The cylinders have a couple of decorative grooves towards the rear of them. The 22 long rifle cylinder has an additional groove at the front, so you can tell that apart from the 22 Magnum very easily. Also, the 22 Magnum cylinder is roll marked with the caliber designation, so you don't have to worry about mixing up the calibers on these. Ruger does note that the 22 Magnum cylinder from the Super Wranglers are not interchangeable with the Wranglers or with the single six. The barrel length on the Super Wrangler is five and a half inches, which is a great compromise between easy packability and maximum velocity, especially when you're using the 22 Magnum. Because of the barrel length being five and a half inches rather than the four and five eighths you see on the standard Wranglers, and because the frame is steel rather than aluminum alloy, the Super Wrangler is about eight ounces heavier than the standard Wrangler, which it's not that hard to carry around an extra eight ounces. Lord knows I'm carrying around an extra 100 pounds. But the eight ounces is not a big deal. It makes the gun feel more solid in the hand. Also makes it handle the recoil of the 22 Magnum even better. The grips on the Wrangler are Ruger's standard black synthetic checkered grips. They're fine grips. I have had no problem with those, and I haven't tried to change out any of the grips on any of the Wranglers that I've had to date. But Ruger does say that standard single six grips will fit. 
So I decided to give that a try. I put on a really nice looking set of sandbar stag grips that I got from Scott Kolar at SK Grips. They fit right on there, they fit wonderfully. So if you've got single six grips laying around or if you wanna customize, personalize your Super Wrangler or your regular Wrangler, standard single six grips will fit. The Super Wrangler, as do all the Ruger single actions made since 1973 when they introduced the new model lockwork, features their patented transfer bar safety system. This keeps the hammer from contacting the firing pin unless the trigger is pulled and held to the rear. Also, it has what they call a loading gate interlock. When you flip the loading gate open, that locks up the action. You can't cock the hammer, you can't pull the trigger until you close the loading gate. Like the Wrangler, the Super Wrangler also features a free spin pawl, which means that the cylinder will rotate in either direction for loading and unloading, which is a very handy thing. If you only shoot a couple of rounds out of a cylinder, you can easily back it up, poke out your empties and retop it off. But also, those of you who are familiar with a single six, it's not a big deal if you're really familiar with a single six, but if you're trying to load the single six and you rotate the cylinder around until it clicks, then you've gone just barely too far, you can't get it in there. You have to develop the knack of stopping the cylinder rotation just before the cylinder clicks so you can get it loaded and unloaded. That's a very handy thing that custom gunsmiths have been doing to Rugers for decades now, but that is included on the Wranglers and that's a wonderful thing. The hammer and trigger are finished in the white in a nice little satin finish. They really look good. It's a nice little contrast up there. And the trigger on these are really nice. They're just under two pounds and eight ounces measured on my lineman digital trigger pull gauge. It's a nice trigger. There was a little bit of creep to it when I first got it, but I did an old six gunner's trick called marrying the trigger. And what you do with that is uh, you pull the hammer back after you make double sure your gun's unloaded you push forward on the hammer pretty hard while you pull the trigger you do that a few times and it kind of smooths out those bearing surfaces really makes quite a bit of difference in the smoothness of your trigger you just do that six or eight times or whatever you feel comfortable with and when you get done the trigger is a lot smoother it's like doing a little action job without even taking the gun apart Current MSRP on the Super Wrangler is $329, which is only $60 more than the standard Wrangler. For that extra $60, you get the steel frame, you get the adjustable sights, and you get the second cylinder and 22 Magnum. That is a great bargain. The original Wrangler series is already well known for having the greatest bang for the buck out there in a six gun. The Super Wrangler ups that ante even further with the 22 Magnum, the adjustable sights, and the steel frame, all for only $60 more. My favorite load for the 22 long rifle is CCI's standard velocity 40 grain lead round note. It's doing a little bit under a thousand feet per second out of a short barrel. It'll do about anything you need to do with a 22 long rifle. And it's easy shooting, it's easier on your gun, and it's a very accurate load. Federal's Champion 36 grain copper plated hollow point bulk pack load is a great all around load for the 22 long rifle. It's running a couple hundred feet per second faster than the standard velocity stuff. The hollow point means that the bullet will open up good. If you want to take some small game or things like that, it's plenty accurate for target work. It's a whole lot of fun to plink with because it don't cost a whole lot. When it comes to the 22 Magnum, Arms Corps 40 grain jacketed hollow point load is awful hard to beat. I keep a lot of it around here. It's my favorite 22 Magnum load. It just works wonderfully in anything I shoot it in. It's plenty powerful enough to take small and medium sized game, uh, coyotes and predator hunting and stuff like that. It's just wonderful stuff.
The Super Wrangler proved to be very accurate with all the different ammo styles that I tried. My favorite 22 long rifle load, the CCI 40 grain standard velocity, really clustered them in there at a little bitty group. The bulk pack ammo opened that up a little bit. The 22 Magnum proved to be plenty accurate as well. Whatever kind of ammo you use, whatever purpose you want to put it to, the Super Wrangler will get the job done. When it comes time to choose a holster for the Super Wrangler, any holster that fits a single six will fit the Super Wrangler. What I've got here is a holster that Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters in Arizona made for me several years ago. This is made to fit a single six, but it works just wonderfully for the Super Wrangler. This was hand carved by Rick Gitline. It's a wonderful little holster. And I've got this holster mounted to my chesty puller suspension system from Simply Rugged Holsters. This is something that Rob developed many years ago when he was working and hunting up in Alaska. So he could get out in the creek with his hip waders on, have his gun above the water, and have it really easy to get to in case a bear or something like that came upon him. The chesty puller system takes a pancake holster and adapts it to wear on your chest like that. But Rob also makes this conventional adapter for the chesty puller system that basically amounts to a little length of belt that attaches to the chesty puller system and allows you to put pretty much any belt holster on this rig. Any of y'all who've seen many of my videos or know me know that I love this system. I use it all the time because of its versatility, because its ability to use so many different kinds of holsters. This is the most cost effective quality holster system you can get. Check them out at simplyrugged.com. To find a federally licensed firearm dealer in your area who can get you one of these, go to Lipsy's website, lipsys.com, click on their dealer finder. Lipsy's is a big distributor down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They have a nationwide network of dealers and somebody close to you will be able to get you one of these through Lipsy's. With the Super Wrangler, Ruger has come out with something we've been chomping at the bit for ever since they first came out with the wonderful little Wranglers. These are great little six guns. They're very affordably priced. They're tough as a pine knot. They're going to outlast your grandkids. They're just dandy little six guns. Check them out at Ruger.com. Stuff and shotgun we got. <laughs>